The Sobol SV06 is an amazing, budget-friendly, very beginner-friendly machine that suffers from a big drawback. It uses a 4010 fan, which is really underpowered as we are approaching times where people are wanting to print faster and faster. So today we're going to take a look at one of my best friends, SV06, and we're actually going to upgrade it to a 5015 blower fan. When it comes to printing faster, there are two qualities that you need to keep in mind. One is how fast can you melt material, and two is how fast can you cool that material down. The SV06 uses an underpowered print fan for today's times, and it's going to be pretty easy to get it upgraded. The parts that we'll be using are actually designed by somebody named Nam 1015 or 1025 on printables. I'll have it linked in the description below. And there are a few things that we're going to need. You're going to need the corresponding Allen keys for the size bolts that you need, wire strippers if you have to solder like I do, the printed parts out of something that is higher temperature like PETG or ASA, because you're not going to be able to use PLA, you're going to be near the hot end. What are the reasons you might want to do an upgrade like this to your 3D printer? Well, basically, it's going to accomplish a couple of things. We're going to be able to print faster, and then we're also going to have better bridges, overhangs, and that is going to reduce the amount of support material that you need to use. All right, let's dive in and take a look at the things that you're going to need for this upgrade. We'll have the bill of materials on the screen, as well as in the description below. They're also on the printables link in case we maybe miss something. The first step is we actually need to pull the old hot end fan off so that way we can assess what we're working with. Now that we have the old fan and shroud removed, we're actually going to hang on to those parts for later in case we ever want to take the printer back to stock. I don't have any of the appropriately sized JST fittings to be able to just make a new lead from the new fan, so we're actually going to splice into the wires from the old fan. Make sure you leave yourself enough wire on both the leads and new wires to work with and that you have some heat shrink tubing of appropriate sizes on hand to protect your solder joints. Heat shrink serves three really important purposes. One, it keeps your connections from shorting out because you don't have anything exposed. Two, it reinforces your solder joints to make sure that they are a little bit stronger. And three, it hides your solder crimes when you're bad at soldering like me. The next thing that we need to do now that we have our pigtail soldered on to our new fan is we actually are going to make a modification to this fan. I don't have any hardware long enough. And instead of trying to source one specific 25 millimeter bolt, I'm actually going to use the Dremel and take 25 millimeters off of this top hole on the fan. The 
the old fan is uninstalled. We have modifications made to the new fan. Now it's time to get everything all hooked up. We need to unscrew these two screws from the back of the hot end carriage to install the new fan mount. Set those off to the side and hang on to them, but we will not reuse them in this project. Using the longer screws, we're going to affix the new mount to the back of the carriage. Make sure not to tighten these screws down all the way yet because it is designed to move back and forth so you can adjust where the ducts land to make sure that there is even spacing on either side of your nozzle. We need to install the nut into the actual fan duct itself so that way we can securely mount everything together. Go ahead and press that fan in before we put the duct set up onto the carriage itself. Make sure the holes are lined up and we can press that into place before we bolt it up. Now using our slightly too short bolt and our modified fan, we're gonna go ahead and get that all secured up. The bolt will run into the nut we pressed into the 3D printed part. After adjusting, give it a final tighten down. And we're back up top. You might notice some continuity errors. I'm wearing different clothes, I have a different mic, and we're filming in a different location. This is actually about a month after we filmed the rest of this video. There are a few reasons for that. One, we needed to be able to get some shots for conclusions. I wanted to get thoughts from my friend who actually owns the SVO6 we were working on. And I also started a new job recently. And that's made it a little bit difficult to adhere to a weekly filming and editing schedule. So we've been working on a new system to get a video backlog built up. So that way we can get back to a weekly upload schedule which I really like doing. I like putting out content on a weekly basis because I feel like that helps to keep things fresh. And as you're aware at this point, I'm sure, things in the 3D printing and maker world are always evolving. So weekly uploads just make sense for the type of content we're doing. All of those updates aside, what are our thoughts on the upgrade? We initially printed this cooling test out of red PLA prior to doing the upgrade. As you can see, around the 60 degree mark, it started to struggle with the overhangs, especially in the areas where the airflow wasn't directly hitting the part. This is because the 4010 fan on the stock setup for the SV06 is blowing straight back and there's no surround around the nozzle. After doing the upgrade, we actually come up with this. And you might notice some scale difference, and no, the part cooling fan didn't make the part grow. We just were able to print it at full size. You'll notice on the blue part that it is significantly less stringy, and we're actually handling overhangs up to almost 80 degrees quite well. So that is going to reduce the amount of support material that's needed. The printer is getting airflow from like both sides of the nozzle now, which means it's way more flow and it's hitting more of the part that's being printed. Less support is going to reduce material cost and printing time, and you don't have to deal with taking support material off of your prints, which also removes some post-processing time. I got a chance to talk to my friend who owns the printer, and he is really excited with everything. He's been able to essentially double his print speed from what the SV06 was doing stock, and the thing is absolutely screaming now, so much so his wife's yelling at him because the printer's too loud. So, I think that we accomplished the mission. Is it worth it to upgrade the part cooling fan on the SV06? I think it absolutely is. It's not that expensive. 5010 fans can be found on Amazon pretty cheaply, and I'm gonna have some linked below. The model printed really quickly. I was able to print it out of ASA on a printer that I have, but you would probably be able to print it on your SV06 if it's your only printer out of PETG. Just make sure that you have all of your printed parts and maybe even print a spare set in the event that something happens so that way if the SV06 is your only printer, you're not taking your only machine out of commission and having to ask somebody else for help. The process is fairly quick and straightforward and even if you have to solder like I did, it wasn't that difficult. It would be a really good beginner soldering project because you're just matching red to red and black to black and it's relatively plug and play. I would recommend doing this upgrade to anybody who has an SV06 and they're looking for a little bit better performance on a budget. 
you don't have to spend a crazy amount of money to have a machine that's capable of printing super high quality or super fast. The SV06 fits that bill, and in my opinion, throwing this part cooling fan just makes it all the better. If you found anything in this video useful, please be sure to like, leave us a comment letting us know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this where it's kind of a mix of a tutorial slash just me showing you doing a printer upgrade, let me know in the comments. If you don't want to see a video like this, let me know in the comments. If there's any suggestions that you have, any way we can improve the content, let us know. We're always open to feedback because if we can't take feedback, we can't improve the channel to help provide you with the awesome content that you need. If you or a friend have an SV06 and they're interested in upgrading the part cooling fan, share it with them. Let's let as many people see this as possible. Thanks for hanging out and happy upgrading. Ba 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 